Hello aspirants, as with any educational institution in the world, universities in the US take standardized tests for admissions to their universities. These tests provide a common ground for comparing the abilities of the students. It's like apples and oranges turning into the same fruit for easy comparison. The challenge here is not only knowing about what test to take, but when is the right time to go for the test and all the time consuming processes that come in between. If these tests are not taken in time, they can impact your admission process a lot. But don't you worry, by the time you finish this video, you'll confidently know the tests that you have to take and when to take them. So let's dive into the exams you need to take for your US admission process for your MS, be it a STEM course or a law course. The English proficiency test is a must to study in the US. These tests gauge your ability to read, write and understand your English language for your courses. And guess what? They come in a variety of options. You have the regular tests like TOEFL and IELTS, the new ones like Duolingo English tests and PTE. The point here is to choose the one that suits you and more importantly, their scores recognized by the university that you are applying to. You can check out our in-depth analysis and differences between various English tests in the description below. Since you'll be studying MS in the US, the exams you choose will depend on the subject you choose to study. Here, for each subject like medical, law, engineering, management and business courses, you have exams like MCAT, LSAT and GMAT. On the other hand, but GRE is one such test that is accepted by both MS programs and engineering programs in the US. The one-stop exam for most MS students in the US is GRE. Students, especially for engineering, should take GRE before admissions to PG courses. The exam assesses your critical thinking, analytical writing, verbal reasoning and quantitative reasoning skills. There are also subject-specific GRE exams, so you should check with the university that you are applying to. See if they have any specific requirements. One thing is to note is that a subject-specific GRE is not required for engineering courses. To be honest, scheduling your GRE and TOEFL exam dates is similar to how you plan your vacation. Don't take this the wrong way. Yes, we are obviously not planning a vacation here. But the first step is to consider your destination, calculate the time needed for the admission process and then estimate the time left for your departure. Since the universities you want to apply to will depend on the test scores, you have to schedule the exams well in advance. I recommend you to start preparing for your GRE and English tests at least 9 months before the departure. Appear for exams 4 to 5 months before the departure so you have enough time to give a retest if you are not satisfied with the score. I suggest you make a vision board and start planning for your study abroad schedule. A sample of what is included in the vision board is displayed on the screen. You can also download and print it from the link in the description box below and add your dates. It's simple as that. You can also like this video and share it with your friends who wish to study abroad. Also make sure to drop your queries, comments and feedbacks in the comment section and our experts will get back to you. At Yorkit, we have a team that is dedicated to addressing your pain points and queries. So feel free to share what topics you would like us to cover next. Take a moment and check out our channel for more valuable information on lots of topics. Our Yorkit Connect series where Yorkit aspirants that made it share their success stories, experiences and tips. Many expert interviews and tutorials and live streams detailing the nitty gritty of the study abroad process. Next video dropping soon. Until then, stay tuned for more. Good luck aspirants. Thank mm -hmm. you.